Alright folks, Larry D. Chili Head of White. So, there's the 20 long and I am setting this up for a new shrimp tank. I got sitting in front of there because I'm bad out of room right here. So, let's see. So far, all I've got, got the sponge filter set in place. Driftwood, it's got it, um, it's got, I've got it glued down using the uh, good old Gorilla Glue, the gel form, of course. So we got it glued right here, as well as down there. Uh, I got the bamboo in place, which is what I'm doing. I'm stripping the tin because, well, I'll show you exactly why. That's exactly why. No matter what I do, it gets the white um, bacteria that blooms up immediately in here. So far, it hasn't harmed anything, but tired of looking at it. And since I got a 20, let's just give them a penthouse. So that's where I'm at right now. Sorry for a quick scan around. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to go run some errands. So I'm going to let the uh, wood soak. Everything set up a little bit. And come back to it. Be back in a few. Okay, we're back. So right now, basically, just adding plants or heavy. Get a little glue down. Let's see. So we have this here. Try not to use a whole lot of glue. Try not to use glue at all, if all possible. But sometimes it's inevitable. Try to do it. There's something like that. I got it filling with water nice and slow. Let's see. What else? Basically, you want everything out of the tin gallon where they're all coming out of the most part. Well, if it doesn't get used, we'll be putting other things. What I like about this area, once in this, needs to be tough. If you do it like it. Or you look like an idiot if you don't. Yeah, I actually have to go with ice and slow. That's the way I can do it. Yeah, it works. The bamboo to cooperate. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, you can go slow. Sounds like to you. But yeah, that's where we're at. Basically, we're filling it up. See what it looks like after we get filled up. Um, I'm not gonna put a light on here for the simple fact. The majority of these are on the plants. Don't want light. And so I think it's enough residual. But they should be okay. So let's see, right now I'm gonna get filled up and get the filter going and put all the good stuff, so I'm gonna pause this for a minute. I had a minor change of plan with the filter. That one was clogged solid, so it's junk. Right now, I've already added a um, dechlorinator, benefit the bacteria, and now we'll add some Purdue 6 cell for the plants. And if I'm able to put a light on here, I will, but I'm probably not going to. Oh. The glue back on the glue, yup. Uh, well, you can see it pretty good on camera. I went ahead and added that. So now, basically, I'm just letting it cook once it gets filled up. Maybe a couple days before I actually add the shrimp to so make sure. Another point I missed. Let's see. Uh, that might have one. Well, I'm going to leave 
up there. Oh, sorry to explore. Turn it off before I uh one please. Okay. I may drain some of it, just to clear it. Um, clear. Oh, that's what it's about, whoops. I thought something flopped and it did. A little pleco. Yeah, you can't stay in there, buddy. I'll have to deal with you later. Dang, all right. That might be interesting. Now yeah, that will be interesting to get you back out of there. But, yep, there she is. Now I just basically need to let it cook. Filter around, but you're good to go. But yeah, I'm, I don't know, I might add a light to it. It ain't that bad. It ain't that bright. But there it is, like I said, shrimp will come in a, like, in a couple days. So I'll make sure everything's cooking proper. All right, folks. Hope you like my little escape. And if you didn't, oh well. <laughs> All right, later.